Welcome to a Total War Saga Troy. In this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the different resources in the game. Your economy is centred around five raw resources. Food, wood, stone, bronze and gold. To succeed in your campaign you will have to manage and balance all five resources. There are three main ways to gain resources. The most reliable is through occupying minor settlements. Each settlement specialises in a certain resource. You can quickly identify what a settlement specialises in by this icon. Within these settlements you will see the specialised resource buildings, where you will find multiple ways and plenty of opportunities to boost your productivity which will be vital to keep your population growing. The second is trade. When you start the game you'll notice you won't always have every resource to hand. It's not always smart to go to war and attack a friendly neighbour, or stretch yourself too thin by sailing halfway across the map just because you want a stone settlement. Instead, you want to trade for the resources you're lacking. Trade is a big topic and one we'll cover in a later video. And lastly, winning battles. This will give you a single injection of resources. Depending on who you're fighting will determine how large the payout. This isn't a reliable way of obtaining resources, so see this as a bonus. Let's quickly touch on the different types of resources and what they do. Food is your most basic resource. It's vital to growing your population and recruiting men to your army. Wood is mainly used to build structures. A good wood supply early game is essential. Stone is used to build more advanced buildings, which will unlock powerful troops and open up different avenues of play with temples and other unique buildings. Bronze will become the cornerstone of any powerful nation. Bronze is required for the upkeep of elite troops. If you want to dominate on and off the battlefield, bronze is a must. And lastly, gold. Gold is a rarity on the map and can be used as a powerful bartering tool. It will also be needed to upgrade specific buildings and recruit special units unique to each hero. Unlike the other resources, it is not infinite and it will completely run out. In the province overview, you can see how much gold is left in that settlement. Constructing better buildings and training stronger troops will require multiple resources. You can see in the top left your total income of resources. Your top number is your gross income, and the bottom number is what you'll get per turn. Hovering over any resource will give you a breakdown of what it's being used for. When it comes to increasing your yield, upgrading your settlements is key. Make sure you read what each upgrade does before committing valuable resources to it. Some upgrades will negatively affect your population happiness or your population growth. Remember you can always destroy a building and replace it with another one, but you won't get those resources back. One last thing to keep an eye on is your influence over your region. You can see it here. Resource buildings thrive in high influence provinces and can potentially double their production. The resource system is the backbone of the game. The balance of military growth versus urban growth is a constant challenge. Should I upgrade this building or recruit these troops is a question you will always be asking yourself.